the podcast slash channel. Uh, if y'all haven't noticed, I changed the, the channel name to Bonfire Conversations rather than Campfire Conversations because it was a lot of channels with the name bon- Campfire Conversations on here. And I want to be a little bit more original and stand out, so we're going Bonfire Conversations. But we are about to go and in- head into this video. So this is a video, but if you're just listening to it with the screen off, you can still hear them talking. It's just a panel of people talking, so you don't have to watch the video to get the gist. But... If you want to watch the video, you can. It's here. So, the question is, would you sign a prenup? And essentially, to put it in the words from the from the male side is, would would you request a prenup for your woman? So, let's get right into it and see what they got to say. So you're going to get a girl that doesn't have as so much. First of all, I feel like you should marry within your level. Like, I'm not even going to try to be rude, but like you should not marry somebody that, that completely has nothing, that could not take care of their own self. Yeah. And then expect that this person is not going to try to get something from you. Let, let me tell you something. If I'm dating a guy that makes 12 times more than I am making, I will dig that pocket to the day I die. Yes, I will. Okay, okay, and I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you why. All right, straight off the intro, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, she's a motherfucking finesser. But the first point she said was true, and that's what I live by. Uh, I, if I did, when I when I date, you feel me? I date with people that are in the same tax bracket as me, or have the, have the same amount of money to do what we gotta do because because I don't want to be used. You feel me? So she was uh, she was correct on that point, in my opinion. That's that's how I live life. But no, nah, she's a finesser, though, no cap. <laughs> Welcome back hey. to another episode of the African Millennials. Hey. I'm excited. Hey. 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 I'm excited. Life. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, do one of you guys yep. want to pick up the card? Let's go. What we got today? Okay, dear AMS, I am recently engaged to the woman of my dreams. Congratulations. Congrats. Oh. Congrats to him. My question, is, my question to you is, would you sign a prenup? Coffee from Boston. Oh, coffee. He's got this. Oh, he's got this. Coffee. 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 But if you guys came into the relationship together, grinding and making this success together, I don't think it's necessary because you guys, you know, started, you know, this together. So I think a prenup is necessary in any situation, in any yeah. case, because listen, this is the real world. This is real life. Things happen. And when you have the prenup in place, you can you can specify, you can determine what is going to happen if you guys do ever get divorced. Things so like kids, things. how you're going to split things. like courts are not always going to be on your side and if you have that prenup you know they're secure you can like save yourself really yeah. whether you're rich or poor i say i think w that's a w response no cap w response i would definitely say one. Oh yeah <laughs> i think um people just don't know that it's not just what people think it in a pejorative way because when you have a prenup it protects both parties you protect my assets and yours and it actually prevents you from having any type of debt or student loans and stuff like that. Because mm-hmm. when you divorce, <laughs> imagine, okay, we don't sign any prenup, so who is going to pay my loans and stuff? Because you will have to, I think the state of law will decide who, I mean, everything, will determine everything to, I mean, uh, what has to be shared equally and stuff like that. So I would definitely, you know, uh, uh, sign I one that. because I felt like, you never know. Like she said, you know, this is life, it's real life, and then people just don't know how to be married. So you said you get married yeah. to get divorced? 
Yeah, exactly. Let me stop that. You just, no, 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 no. I think you just have to stop that quixotic type of you know idea of oh everything's gonna be a fairy tale and stuff. Things happen. Yeah. So and then it's, it's, it's the same way. Um, the same way life exactly. ends. Marriages end, especially in this millennia. And I agree with you in this millennia. In this generation, in this generation, in this day and age, or yeah, millennial generation. Our generation, there's no more love. Let let me be honest. There's there's nothing like love. Love doesn't exist anymore. We um we just, I believe we um we just get married just because we we have to, and have kids. Um. I believe in prenup. Um, I believe um, when you're getting into marriage, you should um, obviously get a prenup. If if you are successful um, before the marriage, I believe prenup should be um, made. And I, but I disagree with when you said um, if I don't disagree. But I would what I would say is if you guys are married and you guys are making moves together, I still feel like what's mine has to be mine. What's How yours has determine? to be yours. So then what's the because point of marriage? Because your name will be on it. No, because you guys have a business, business together. If you build the business together. And then you guys didn't have the prenup. And then the business is successful. And then you guys part ways. Who can have what share of the business? You still have what to I'm have saying, a partnership on paper, exactly. though. I think yeah. you can have a partnership you know. in pa on paper. I think yeah. business and your marriage shouldn't be mixed together. Exactly. If, you're in a par if you're a part... W. That's a W take. Listen, for y'all boys listening right now, especially y'all that's going to want to be something big in the future, have your own business, be an entrepreneur, whatever. Listen, you never miss business with pleasure. Never do it. You feel me? Because that's how you get fucked up. Just remember that shit. Partner with your um, spouse, Warrior. whatever. Yeah. It should be on paper. Yes. Like, even What's though we're divorced, we can still run this business so together. Yes. yes, but it still mm -hmm. needs to be on paper that we're gonna split this halfway. We yes. can't just be like, well, and then that's the mess up part. About but that's it, why you have like, to have the prenup. Uh -huh. I feel like because marriage is a business, you don't know what's in that person's head. Right. Why they in this relationship? And so personally, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes, it is. It really is. is. A business. Oh, it's it's right. Hold on, let me make my point. It's a Bottom line contract. is. If it's not a business, why, when somebody gets a divorce, why do you try to hire the best lawyer to get the best deal? Marriage is a business, especially when you have to go through a divorce. Because the moment you bringing in outsiders, they're gonna wanna get the best deal, especially for a lawyer. Because the lawyer is you are hiring the lawyer to do a job for you. Of course they're gonna wanna get the best deal for themselves. And at the end of the day, it is a business. And also, when you marry, there's a lot of benefits to it. Taxes, you get a nice cut. So at the end of the day, it is a business. Yes, you a lot of people married for love, but when it when a divorce come in, it's all business. My, My question to everyone is, mm -hmm. which one of your parents has prenup? prenup. And None of them. That's what, that's what <laughs> I said. Our generation. But it's still together, yeah, right? Yeah, it changes. Yeah. 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 Okay. My parents will never be married, so. Oh. <laughs> but it's together. <laughs> no, but it's yeah. like, oh God. Like, <laughs> I mean, my parents are separate. No prenup, but they still like. Come together with things. Yeah, exactly. They come together. And I'm like, I need this. Like, they just come together. But it just think about it. It depends, though. It depends on yeah. the status. Yeah, if if your, if your parents are like um, working on a regular job, there's no need for a pre. It, it does. Nobody no, even thinks about that. Still. No. Yeah, because you never know. What if you're a whatever, like, well, you whatever still needs drive, to be literally. split. You got to have those set in terms. And the thing about a prenup is that's great is that it can be reviewed over the years. Exactly. I definitely believe in prenups. I do think it's a good idea to sign one um, just for protection on both parties, on both sides, for the person who has more money and for the person that doesn't have the money because you can, you can define what kind of terms you want in that prenup. So if this person who has more money decides to treat you badly and you divorce, you can walk away with something. My yeah. thing is, if you're gonna get married, the first thing you don't want to establish is a prenup because right. this is the big day. And you're in, in, in love with no. you. Let me tell you, you're in love no. with your significant other. Right. If my partner comes to me and we're done with the marriage, we're like, okay, let's sign this prenup. I'm like, so you really think that we're no. gonna end eventually? No, no, no. Yes, no. See, I knew this was gonna be a point in this video, and I hate it. I hate it when people bring something that's not emotional into this and make it emotional. The prenup got nothing to do with none of that shit. It's just a fucking security fucking thing. You feel me? It's just in case shit go wrong. You feel me? We got something that's going to that's gonna divide our assets and money. Divide our assets and money the right way. You feel me? So, I, I love when people say, well, you have a prenup. Well, 
That's gonna make me think you don't have faith in our relationship. Now watch this. I'm finna go to Google right now, bro. Rates of divorce in the U.S. 2020, the latest year. Damn, what the fuck? Rate of divorce. This shit bugging. I think it was something like 44%. Yeah, okay. So, almost 50% of marriage. So, basically half of the marriages, bro. Half of marriages in the United States end in divorce. So, why the f... Like, knowing that, most of these motherfuckers gonna end in divorce. I don't understand. Why the fuck she even saying that prenup will make me think you don't have faith in that relationship? No, because some shit don't work out, my nigga. Like... It is what it is. I hate this fucking argument when we ask about prenups, bro. Piss me off. For me, for me, when it comes to a prenup, I would I'll most likely sign one. And I'm just going by, for example, Gabrielle, you and Dwayne Wynn, you guys you know they're happy in love. Yeah. She spoke about it. She was like, he makes this certain amount of money with his NBA. She's a big time actually. She makes this certain amount of money. We're gonna come up with a number so we can both live off it because what's mine? What you guys said was minus minus. What's his is his because at the end of the day. God forbid they get, uh, you get your engaged, congrats. God forbid, you know, they get divorced. You don't yeah. want to be in that situation when, when it comes to what Samantina said, it's a business. Like, one person is going to want more than the other. So right. you have yeah. to come up with a number to That's come together with. To me, as a honestly, you have to set that up. You have to set that first before anything. You have to come together, yeah. like, talk to each other. All right. So how, much, how much do you need? How much can we bring in? I'm so, married you if you sign the prenup. Like, it just sounds like it just sounds like you're preparing yourself for the okay, worst. For the worst. You're like, okay. Oh, no. No, it's like a cushion. It's like a cushion. Like 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 no. If you're going in genuinely and authentically exactly. about the person, you will not think about the prenup. About, about oh, if oh, something yeah, happens, I'm going to take my stuff and I'm going to leave you. If you care about that person, things change. You can love each other now, but like years later, you things really change. It wouldn't matter, you know, what we had. First of all, love is a sham. Marriage is a sham. Um, it, I definitely believe that it is a business, you know, agreement. Um, it's a contract. So the same way, you know, the marriage is a contract, sign the prenup as a contract to ensure that, you know, there's no hassle when the time comes because the time will come. Y'all made it a business first. So yeah. you no, a business. Yes. Like, yeah. if you are fighting lawyers, they're going to make it a business. That's what I'm saying. It, it is a business. A business. Plus, if this the kid's day. involved, you guys have to come to understand that like, for example, if you're the mother of my child, either way, I have to respect you, but I still have to see my kid. Right. I'm not fighting right. for, no, he stays with me, he yeah. or she stays no, with no, me. No, 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 no. You don't get on the side. Yeah. Do you, on you, the prenup, you don't You don't get on the side. You don't get on the All that divorce type of stuff, you're going to go through a lot of stuff like money. Regardless if you have a prenup or not, you still go to court if you're getting a divorce. So a prenup is just about your property is your assets and so that you have pride from the marriage saying that, okay, my partner could not take part of that. Now, if something happens in our marriage, and then we're not together anymore. And my thing is, if you really truly love that person, it, does, it shouldn't really matter if they take some of yours some. or not. Because you, you mm -hmm. want to be really. If you want to be really. It's not real. Real. It's not it's not real. Real. Uh, so you know what? <laughs> she speak. Listen, y'all. She's speaking from straight woman turn. Because you know, women. And most divorces, when a prenup, women win this shit. Win the most money or whatever. That's why she's speaking. She's speaking real bias, and yeah, yeah. We're just gonna, we're just gonna disregard what she just said for real. Spousal support what is if, everybody. Why marriage is taken so lightly? Y'all going just to get married just because exactly. it's a trend. Yeah. But marriage is deeper than that. If you're not gonna go, but what? spousal People support listen. is every month. So you have to pay the person every month. So hold on, let me uh, let me ask you this. So if you married with this guy, right, mm -hmm. and then you caught him cheating on you with the housekeeper, or whatever, mm -hmm. the hell? and then you oh, have no, and then you have you have more money than him, and you decided to file for divorce, and then would you be okay giving um paying every month for him and that 
whatever First that may. Well, before we even get to that stage, I would know my man, and hopefully the man that I'm marrying is not somebody that's gonna cheat on me. That's why I'm not gonna take. I'm, I'm not gonna. Faith in him. Exactly. Happens. So I know that happens, but I will take my time before I get to that. I will take my time before I get to that. People cheat. They don't know. Yes, and yes, you asked the question. Yes, and yes, you asked the question, y'all. Ain't this shit crazy? She knew what she said was wrong before, so she didn't want to answer the question. <sighs> shit crazy, y'all boys. Stuff happens. You never know. No, never know. Got, he could be a good guy, but he could get caught up in a situation. You and she you know, know he's never. with another woman, and he like, I'm and what if Because let's say you have an argument, and then you be like, damn, I'm glad I have this prenup. It's like, it's always something where it's like, exactly. it's, a, it's a safe door. It's not just a door you could always have. The thing with the whole prenup thing is like, my thing, I think if I sign a prenup, it means that my man doesn't trust that our marriage could last without the prenup. So whenever I'm at home, I am at work, if I'm feeling down or we had a little argument or a disagreement about something, I'm going to think about the fact that you wanted me to sign that prenup as an emergency door for you to leave me behind. So, yes, it's something that's going to you know, work in my conscience, and eventually I will bring it up, and it will never be in the most positive way because that's something negative that I feel like it's going to be the, the downfall of our union. I think if you are in the relationship for love, we both will discuss a prenup that we both agree on. And then we go about our business. We're not gonna go, I'm not gonna go home and be like, oh my God, so I signed up this prenup, blah, 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 he's, he's plotting something against me because we both talked about it. I already know what's on the prenup and I agree with what's on that prenup. So I think you can be in love and still sign a prenup. I know people who does it. I don't see why it's a problem. People think if you sign a prenup, it's, it's, it's like, oh my God, so we're, you're setting up the marriage for failure. No, we're just setting it up. At, for, um, we're just having a structure just in case if something happens. What's mine is mine. Let's All right, yeah, now I'm seeing a disparity between, so you got, I think we have what, six see, people on this panel right problem. here? My bad. We got like six people, seven people on this panel. Only two people are confused with prenup because they are thinking prenup, they think prenup means that um, how do I say this? Two people are very confused on this panel because they don't they don't understand that a prenup has to be agreed on for both sides. So like, they think oh when a man says he want a prenup or whoever said they want a prenup, that means they want to take the most money. When they don't understand that it's agreed on by both parties, so and nobody's gonna be left out in the dust for real. They're not understanding that. They're thinking it's like a one sided thing. So that's like, that's where the issue, this debate's going to be until they understand that point. Like my dad's half company. That's that's my family's company. Right. But if you marry, we won, so that's our family. No, we, exactly. we won, but that, <laughs> no, we no, won, no. but <laughs> listen, we gonna go if you yeah, get yeah, divorced, yeah. So take if you it. get divorced, are you, are you are you part of my uh, my you, company yeah, now? Yeah, apparently. I have your name. I, I was no, thinking about no, 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 you. I'm, you are no, my man. Yes, no, we are family. No, I was but if you marry with love, money. why are you gonna go after his family's property? No, that's I'm his, not going after his family. That's, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Because that's not what I'm saying. If his family, he inherited something from his family, mm. and that's for him to live off, and I'm his partner, we're living together. Automatically, it becomes that's mine. mine. No, it's no, not no, no. If you do get married, what you, whatever you have, it's mine. We're gonna share everything. Um, your money is my money. Your cars are my cars. Like it's a union. We have to combine our expenses and properties together. People just. Oh man. Y'all boys, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all ever hear a woman say that, avoid her. I don't give a fuck if she look like goddamn Rihanna. If, if you ever hear a woman say what she just said, avoid her. She's a finesser. That's why. She's a finesser. Avoid these women, man. I'm telling you, that shit is crazy. She only saying it. Listen, y'all boys, she's only saying her side in this point, in this debate, for her fucking, like, Shit that help her, you know what I'm saying? Cause she know this shit. Women win more in divorce than men. You feel me? Cause we, in a, in this society, you look at women as weaker. So that's how that works. So they win more. So that's why she's saying this shit. And she's a fucking finesse. Like, listen, that's all I gotta say. If y'all in real life ever see a woman come or, come across a woman that say some wild shit like that, what's mine is yours. When we get married, what's yours is mine. Whatever. You listen, avoid him. It's gonna save y'all a lot of stress. You know, get married for the wrong reasons. I saying? just feel it's like benefits. we are good so benefits. We're taxes quick. and everything. We we just <laughs> thinking about you know the the right now type of things and the, you know probably you know there's a girl who found you know someone and auto automatically she's like oh she's my soulmate and stuff like that and not even imagine that 
it was just Mr. Right now instead of Mr. Right. Ooh. Mm. Which means what? <laughs> which means that... That's why you have to study your partner. You, you have to take time to know. You can never know an individual. That's never. Right. I, I just it, think that divorce never. is like one of the worst things that you can go through. I know two people that are going through like divorce yes. settlements right now. And the fight that they are having like over money, over kids, right. over yes. so, child support, this and this and that. It is so yeah. ugly. When you have a prenup you know, in place, it's just simple. Yeah. And the thing is, life is going to happen. Yes, that's all. It's all to find. And yeah. when you are able, when you have that prenup in place, it's simple, quick, easy. You don't have to go through this painful process right. that mm -hmm. a divorce is. Who wants that? No Who needs it's just that? security, basically. Just because, yeah, it's just security. Just security. No, just because the prenup though, is in place doesn't mean you're not going to have arguments. It doesn't mean, no. you know, like, if you, if you go if you a have a prenup, you still have to pay child support. Exactly. Right. If you, if you have a prenup, you still have to go to court. So all the things you're trying to avoid is, are still going to happen. No, but everything is so. structured. Oh. It's, it's all about yeah, structure. Yeah, it's structured. Everything is structured. Just say it's all about Yeah, but the mindset, my thing is the mindset behind USAA Safe Pilot Discount up to 30% off for safe drivers only for the military community. When you when you have no. that, that piece of document that, that is, is, is the if our yeah. marriage doesn't work. So automatically you have this negative feeling about okay, we might break up. And we might end, you know, but I know apart. I'm good. Right. Exactly. So I still want to protect my my assets. So in that moment, you're forgetting about this is the love of your life. Yeah. This is your partner. You're just thinking about yourself being selfish. I don't know. I'm just big on love, and I just feel like you know, if you're something like marriage is sacred, and if you're going into it, you shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be about money or whatever else, you know, with the the whole prenup. It just it should be you should you know you should go into it saying, I'm gonna go into it for better or for worse, not, oh, in case this happens or in case that happens. Everybody that get married, just because they say, oh my God, I love this person, doesn't mean they really love this person, especially if the person have money. They're in it for the, for the benefits. And when tax season comes, you getting benefits, you're getting tax cut and everything. So it is a business after all. Whether you want to think about it that way or not, it's still a business. And I, oh, I think when true. you don't, when you, as true. whatever, a man or woman choose not to sign the prenup and your spouse wants you to sign the prenup, you're trifling. Mm -hmm. You're off to something. Right. If you, and it's not. Why right. do you want to sign it? It's for offering that. What did you say? Just for no, offering that. You're also no. up to something. No. It means that you plan on doing something no. down the line. No. No. To and it's going to cover your butt. You yeah. Okay. For the same If you don't sign a prenup when your spouse asks for a prenup, there's definitely something going on. It's definitely fishy. You're definitely in it for the wrong reasons. Because why not? Why not sign a prenup? If I truly love this person with all my heart, that person, life, no ha buts. life happens. Exactly. That person could I love you, switch just like that, mm. and so then no you don't happen. That person, then I'm left out you marry some, uh, child a, a stranger. Support, all this, I gotta do. I gotta pay for everything. But now I'm heartbroken. So you have heartbroken to prepare. And broke. You have or to prepare for the worst. <laughs> And your spouse, your, the love of your life, has to agree with that. If she says no to the prenup, then one, I can't really be mad at her because that's her decision, but I'm gonna highly suggest it and I'm gonna ask her to like think this over. Be like, all right, take some time. I don't need you to make the decision now, but take some time, think this over, and then I'll come back to you. I have a friend, she's, um, her father, he's actually a general. So he has um, money, and then the mother was just a regular woman, you know, that he met like this, like a true love story. Mm -hmm. And he paid all the bills, all the expenses. He's the man of the house. He's the one that's financially securing the house. I don't think they ever thought of having a prenup, even though he was the one that that had the most money, and he knew that she was coming in with nothing. But that was yes. a different time. That's a different Not time. Not right now. When did they get married, and how old is they your got, friend? They got married in like. 2001. So How old is his get divorced? My friend, she's like, she's like 21, 22 right now. But how long were they yeah. together? And also, I feel like 2001 um, and 2018 is it, 17 years late. 17, 17 years later. Is this in America or this is? It was back home. That's right. Back home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. no, because the point, the point I'm trying to make is that 
if it's truly a ban. Because in America, like you guys say, I agree that you guys, they're trying to make a business. They've been uh, promoting divorces on the train. Yeah. Like, they're trying to promote, no, they have the signs, like cheap divorce and all that stuff. They've been rings. Mm -hmm. Like we said before, and I think we talked about this last year, like, women are more interested in uh, the size of the ring, even uh, compared right. to, like, how the marriage is going to be. Mm -hmm. People are interested in, like, the amount of people they're going to invite to the wedding and yeah. the flower and Showing all that stuff. All like, more it's all prenup. Right. Okay, Not okay, maybe, maybe if you feel this way, but my thing is if me, I can't speak for myself, if I'm getting married to somebody, my first thing is not to, you know, get a prenup because I'm marrying for love. I'm not marrying for money. I'm not marrying for your assets. I don't care about that. I'm marrying for you as a person. Now, if something goes bad along the way, I will hope that the partner I, I am with you will understand resolve. that and we could resolve it and just part ways. I don't have to have the prenup because the prenup will bring... She is living in fucking fairy tale land. This shit is ridiculous right now. Like, if, should she give me an Girl. example? What if your man cheated on you with What's his housemate? House? I don't you think you would you would you you would you would just let him go like that. Right? And you what if she's not pregnant and then what's you what's have it? more money? So that means you're gonna have to take care of that baby and him because you didn't sign a prenup. No. Um, I think Francia is confused. I'm not confused. I think she's getting it wrong. She feels like um prenup is is bad. Um what I want to tell her is to just um, listen to um, what um, the cast are saying about prenup and then take that into consideration. So you were saying um, you're hoping that um, during breakup your husband will understand and then give you what she deserves. But in this scenario, I listen, that. so that's what you're saying, like you will hope he will that. understand. And that it will be and peaceful. And, yeah. Yes. No. Okay. But, in, this, in her situation, she gave you an example when she said, when you catch your guy cheating on you with your maid, and in that, in whereby you are the one who is making more money, would you, be okay. would you be okay if he tells you, oh, you know, I just, you know, we've been, we've been together for this, 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 this and you know okay. we love each other. I will so. go back to what I said when okay. we first started the show. If you came in within the, like, we had your own money prior yeah. from the union, I think you should protect yourself because right. you work all these years before meeting your partner. Yeah. Now, if we are, we made this money together within the marriage, uh, in a sense, it's, it's unfortunate that he did that, he cheated, right. but in a sense, that's our money, money. combined together. Because if you have a business together, it's, it's very difficult to de determine, okay, I brought the chair, you brought the fridge, I brought the, like, that's you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's a mistake. You should, you should, you should, um, even though you guys are married and you guys are making moves together, it should be, a, uh, there should be a setup whereby, um, this is my money, this is your money, and this is our money. So, so there should be like a this, separation yeah, where, within, yes, where the like, marriage, within the yeah, marriage, like, okay, if we make making moves and then it's 100%, we have to like split it into three. So wow. this is mine, this is yours, and this is us. You get what I'm saying? And, and, In case um, something happens, everybody knows. So, would oh, you have a different bank account compared to your like? Diff oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I said it again. Oh, I said it again. What? What is she? Oh, what does she think? No, 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 no! Look at her face, y'all. Look at her face. <laughs> would you have a different bank account? Yes, nigga. Everybody said, "Yeah, look at her face." She like, damn. I didn't. Man, look. She's a fucking finesse, bro. Like, I might not say too much about her no more. I'm definitely going to get a separate account because that's what I made before getting into the marriage. So whatever is mine, it's mine. Whatever is yours, it's... And I will say this while we're on this topic. I do know people that are married that... I don't know if they have prenups or not, but when it comes to bank accounts and shit like that, they do what he do, what he just said with the three accounts. They got... So... The man might have his account, the woman has her account, and then they have a conjoined account for, like, family trips, you know, uh, diapers and shit for the kids, meals and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, they do. That's usually how it works. It's three. Three accounts. It's yours, and then we can still have a, a joint account where we can, we can um, you know, dig into what we want to. My mom said to have, like, a little rainy day just in case something happens, so... I, I, I do that, agree. I think that's that. so important, but, especially as women. Oh, no, not, with, not just women, please. But <laughs> 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 it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Because men are conniving, and this is the men who are women. Welcome and to America. This so wait, 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 wait. Oh man, she just just when I was giving her props, she said some wild shit. I hate, I hate when I hate when women do this.
when certain women, I might like I might not be like her. Not all women. I hate when certain women do this or s certain men do the same thing. Vice versa. If a man say all women do this, I hate when we generalize uh, a action with one whole gender. Like everybody's not different. So that shit just drew me off all the way. And we're controlling. And and if a so woman doesn't women. have our own money, men just love to like control and to think that. That woman is their possession. It goes both ways. That's why you should come into the marriage with your own money. Why are you coming into the marriage thinking, oh, this guy has to support me, or maybe. Who said that? No, you're saying that men are conniving. I'm just saying, when a woman doesn't have money, men think that they're their possession. Right, right. So you're saying, I'm just 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 saying, I'm Women, women never take advantage of a man because he has that's money. Not, that's, that's what you're telling me right now. It's just men that's connected. I didn't say that. Well, I said, didn't you say you said men but in I do, general. I do believe that a man should be a provider for sure. Exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah but women do take advantage of men because they have money. There's, there's been plenty of cases Take of advantage? I think that's a strong word. What? Oh, boy, listen, boy. She was just doing so good, bro. And she just went on this tangent. This... I hate to say it, but this feminist type tangent and say some wild shit. So, 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 let me get this right. Men can are controlling, conniving, all of this, but women, women, women never take advantage of men. Taking advantage is a strong word, man. Y'all boys, listen. I personally know niggas that have been finessed by women. I personally know niggas that I have told them, hey, yo, don't simp. She don't finesse you and get finessed. That's why the way I am with dating and shit and relationships now is that my, I screen niggas, I screen females very, very deeply because of this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't just jump into relationships because I'm, I'm not going to lie I'm, about myself. I mean, I'm, I'm doing well for my age, you know what I'm saying? So... I, that's why I, this is my advice to y'all boys is, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> my advice to y'all boys is whenever y'all are getting, into, like, listen, keep yo, don't talk about how much money y'all make. Don't go bragging about how much money y'all make, because that only attracts bad energy. That's my advice to y'all. That's what I do. I keep my shit silent. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep it about because not even my mom know how much I make. So that tells you nobody know how much I make, for real. Keep y'all money shit private, and that keep that keep your connections more genuine. You know what I'm saying? So people will not you're not trying to advantage your people trying to finesse you, gold dig you, in that terrible as energy. So keep y'all money private. You feel me? Don't don't be bragging about it. Yes, oh. it's happened. Wait, Wait hold time. on. Wait, no. Listen, if you know you're gonna get a girl that doesn't have as much, first of all, I feel like you should marry within your level. Like, I'm not even gonna try to be rude, but like you should not marry somebody that that completely has. Nothing. And as we saw in the intro, she said this point. I agree with this point. You gotta. I, that's how. That's how I love life. You feel me? I, if, when I date and marry or marry, you feel me? Whatever, whatever in my life is determined, it's gonna be a somebody that makes as much money as I am, because that would be security to me that I might get finesse, or you're not in the in a relationship to try to finesse money. So, she makes a good point on that nothing that could not take care of their own self yeah. and then expect that this person is not going to try to get something from me let, let me tell you something if i'm dating a guy that makes 12 times more than i am making i will dig that pocket to the day i die <laughs> yes i will and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna tell you why if he makes more money than i make and he obviously knows that of course i'm gonna work that pocket i make sure that i am good too you're not gonna let me hanging while you over here in these big red carpets no we're gonna go together we're gonna Make moves together, so yeah. Oh, when I and she is the reason why you guys need a prenup. <laughs> Sign the contract to be your wife for better or for worse. I'm going to be there for you, not only financially, if I could, but also mentally, physically. Women do provide for men in other ways, but financially. Exactly. So let's say you have money, but I have all the other stuff that comes with it. I'm home taking care of the kids, cleaning. Oh, wife. man, before she began to this fucking point, I hate this fucking point. Well, I come, I clean, I cook, I, 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 I buy, I decorate, I, I, I plan the birthday parties for the kids. Listen, y'all, I hate this point. I hate this point. Like I said, I hate when people generalize one thing with, with one, like, so I hate when people generalize this point with every relationship. 
Listen, I'm gonna give y'all an example about me. I'm a grown ass man. I pay my own bills, whatever. I cook myself. I clean myself. I do all that shit myself. I don't need nobody to do that. You feel me? And I know other relationships, other people where it works like that. I also know people on the flip side where it works as the woman do all the cooking and cleaning and the men don't. And the men work. I understand that. But I hate this point because a lot of women do this and they generalize this woman or housewives to every relationship when that's not true. Like me, like I said this from the jump. Me, my woman is gonna be it's gonna be independent like me. So we both gonna know how to do everything, and we don't come together as whole people. That's just my perspective on it. I don't. It's no point in marrying if you're not gonna be whole people, independent, like by by your own. You feel me? Like you. To me, you gotta be. You gotta have your stuff together, and I gotta have my stuff together for us to come together and have uh, efficient. You feel me? Good marriage. Like that's why a lot of marriages break up because you got people coming in. People trying to marry people that are broken and shit. So, what she about to say right now, that w- women cook, clean, decorate, da, da, that that shit, that shit be determined in how much I make. That is some bullshit, y'all boys. So, my advice to y'all boys, especially y'all men in here, is learn the basic essentials, laundry, uh, cooking, cleaning, all of that shit. So, women will take advantage of you like this and try to hold it over your head. And for the woman, keep doing y'all thing. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that's a job. and that's the job too that's a nine to five and that's more tiring than going to the office mm-hmm. yeah I think, I, I think if you have kids it, there should, there should, it should be different because yeah. I feel like if I'm taking care of your kids um I need to get at least 30 percent or something because I'm at home 50, I can't go to work 50, 50 or 25 <laughs> whatever I'm gonna, I need a cut because so I'm, I'm at home work um taking care of these kids and you could have hired a nanny and pay them but I'm doing all that work okay, that's what I'm saying marry within your level if I'm at home, I'm taking care of the kids, I'm being a housewife, and you have all of the money, I don't have a job because I'm at home taking care of the kids. And for whatever reason, we don't, things don't work out, I would definitely need 30% or whatever percentage of your, of your money. Not only for being a parent to your kids, but also because I have been working in a way for you because I can't have a job because I'm at home taking care of the kids. So I would definitely need some sort of percentage that 30 percent or 40 whatever percentage i would need to walk away with that i don't want to be too greedy but i think 30 percent would be a good cut because you know 50 i don't want to because it's like if we sign a prenup i wouldn't be able to get 50 percent and i forgot things and low-key i agree with that point if you guys are having that type of marriage to where the woman stays at home all day and takes care of the kids and clean um yeah for sure for sure, she 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 really should get some of your money because, like she like they said before, you could have hired a nanny and paid her out. So it makes sense. It makes sense. I think me coming from you know African background, I do feel like the man is a provider, definitely. You know, I think in my in my family, I'm, I mean, yeah, they say in my family, uh, my dad is the <laughs> one who cooks and stuff like that, and he's a provider. My mom, she's just chilling. Oh, I need mean, she should. Well, so I should she give work to you. Okay, That's a lie. but right now, I just feel like that is a when, you live, when, when you live in the U.S., though, I think it's a 50-50 thing. It is. Two. Because it's hard. You can't, you can't say, oh, no, I'm just going to provide for you. Who's going to pay for the rent, for your insurance car? For, there's a whole but plethora of things. But you are an African, like you said, right? So if you have this African mentality, you're not mm. going to let this environment change you. Exactly. No, you can't. Even though you want to, you cannot. Why? Okay, that's Maybe what I'm saying. You cannot let it change you. So over. therefore, you have to still be the provider, mm. not, being, living, not only being an African living in America, mm. or being an African living in Africa. Uh, me personally, I would support my wife, um, whether we have a prenup or not. Um, but at the same time, that shouldn't um, um, let her be lazy. Because um, I feel like having a prenup, it's um, you encouraging each other. You get me? Because if, if she's making the most money and then we have a prenup, whereby it says, oh, maybe when something happens to me, my money is my money, that will let me wake up, that will make me work hard. Why does it have to be just providing for the woman? You could always help her That's sure, like, I agree get with a that. better yeah. career. So she I can, agree like, with that. You can help benefit her. You could like, help her at the time being, but at the same time, yeah. you gotta, like, all right, give her you know, steps, give her like, you know, connections. But, you, know, you can get a better job here instead of just doing this. I can, you I you can, if you're my son, I'm helping you out. If you need a uh, put in, in the platform to do so of course yeah. you should definitely try to lift up your partner you don't why want your partner you? to be down here and right. you're up here I, I think, think that, that if, what, what I'm getting from you is 
just just provide literally yes, just no, provide no, that's not, not just, what I said. That's not just elevating. Elevating. No, i think not just that elevating. if you, you know if you're a someone who's making your six figures or whatever yeah. and you decide to get married to someone who's not doing as well as you right and you say to them let's sign this prenup right you can still help them and give them everything they need and help them in their right. career and whatever mm -hmm. and if that person doesn't sign the prenup they're after, they're after something. Not exactly. necessarily. But even yeah. if, and if you they do, do sign the prenup and like at the end of the marriage they don't have anything to show, then you deserve to walk away with right. nothing. We're because what were you doing this whole time? So why would you, you have, have somebody like that to stop with? You have somebody like that to stop with. That's the W point right there. That's the W point. That's the W point that she just made. Because in a lot of marriages, for real, Woman, especially this generally happens when people marry, marry too far, too in a, too far, too far down, in economic in their tax bracket. As far as like somebody really wealthy marrying like somebody that works a nine to five, gender not included. It could be men marrying a woman in the lower class or woman marrying men in the lower class. Cause I'm pretty sure this has happened to a celebrity. I don't know if it was a Dale or something, but it was somebody that um that this has happened to where a woman married a man that was down low and matter of fact i my best friend my best friend for real his mom his mom just got divorced from a man that made way less than her and just took took a whole mess of her bread because you feel me because of this this prenup situation issue but she made she make it sense a lot of people come into to marriage and get real comfortable you know what I'm saying? So, it make it makes sense. You should, like I said, this is why my point on this is, you shouldn't get married until you have yourself figured out completely. So, don't get married with no career. Get into a marriage with someone that makes a lot of money and say, oh, fuck it. They just pay all my bills. That's weak-ass mentality. You should be generating, whether, you don't, you don't got to work a 9 to 5, my nigga, but if you, if you married to somebody, let's say, let's say, I'm going to put me in this example. Uh, and uh, this a this a quick warning. If you hear anything in the background, it's my dog. She moving around and shit. But I'm gonna put me in this as a, in this example. If I'm let's say right now I'm 21. I get married to somebody that's 27. That's a fucking chief financial officer and that makes 250k a year. I'm not gonna go into that marriage right now and be like, you know what? She don't pay all my bills. Like me, I'm a hustler. You feel me? I'm gonna be okay. She she might she she might make more money now, but I'm a, I'm still gonna get my degree, make my money with her, I start my small business and build it up and make money. You feel me? We both gotta have that hustle mentality. The, that's that's the issue, and I understand what she's saying at that point. You don't come into a marriage get comfortable, do nothing, and then when divorce comes, say I should get this money for what? You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta have that 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 grind in you. You gotta be a whole person. Future. You should think you. about and that. You have if someone, no, then you deserve yeah, to have yeah, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Planning for the future. If someone is asking you, oh, I think we should, um, we should sign a prenup. The person is actually responsible. That's how you should see it. Because if I don't tell you to, if I don't, if I don't tell you, oh, let's sign a, a prenup. Uh, there's no even if you don't sign a prenup and I own a lot of money. And when the time comes for us to, like, when maybe divorce happens and it's time for us to break up and you want my money, do you think I'll give it to you easily? No. Since I have the money, I'll get the best lawyer right. and I'll win. It's, so the, it's the business. It's for I just got to say, I haven't said this once in the video, but this, but the jaw in the blue is, is giving a stink face to everybody talking. This had pissed me off because she has not contributed to this debate at all. She hasn't said, she, she asked a few questions, but as far as, like, Giving good talking points to like how everybody else is, she's just judging everybody but not saying nothing. But we'll see. For it to be easy, it's better I come up with. And um, you might be there for nothing. I come up with it like, oh look, okay, let's. I think we should have a prenup. Even that should even encourage you to get to to make your own move. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like an encouragement. It's like me um, being responsible, me thinking yeah. um, about the as future. A, that's if how you're you a successful see. man that makes a lot of money, do not date somebody that's not making as much as you if you don't think that wow. you're not going to financially you support them. How much financially support them? You're you don't talking about so, listen, you can't like, say that because yeah, that person yeah. could easily just fall in love. She, I could be a millionaire. Okay, that's okay. I could be making six figures. She could be not. She and could just be a okay. witch. I could love her, but at the that's same, fine. I'm But if you say you're going to love her to have a prenup, it's like... No, but the thing is... You still have to do it. But at the same time, you're going to... 
I'm gonna want to elevate her so she can have her own yeah. thing. That's, that's fine. Yes. You Here's do the thing: hot during the marriage. That's if fine. If you guys are married for love, I don't feel like why if when we things yeah. don't work out, why it's a problem for me not to give you my money because I didn't right. sign up to split so my money I'll with the you. Paper yeah, first yeah, yeah. But exactly. you have no, you have to protect yourself because we're in this for love, right? We're yeah. in love. We're in love. We're so in this okay. relationship so for love. So therefore, why have the mentality like okay, so we're in love. We're in love, but we got to go both ways. But in this day and age, you just have to to think about it. I'm not, hold on, I'm not gonna lie. The genre in the red and the genre in the blue. I feel like they haven't been through life, my nigga. And I haven't been through life. I'm only 21, like I always say. I haven't been through life like that either. But even I know that just from I learned from other people that people made this mistake and got fucked over. So them saying, especially the genre in the blue, her point is, well, if you're in love, you shouldn't be thinking about a prenup at all. That's the type to finesse a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you always got to have the beard just in case. Like, like you, you don't, like, we we seen so many times, even, well, we'll, we'll go back to the fucking Will Smith case. Will Smith and Jada Pick have been married for the Lord knows how long. And it just came out that my nigga August, what's that? What's the name? What's the R and B artist? August Austin, Austin or some shit like that was piping his wife. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. You feel me? That shit. Don't, what, what they talking about don't matter. You always gotta have a backup plan, y'all boys. And even in life, this applies to not just a prenup as a marriage, but in life, always have a backup plan of what you don't do. If you like, for example, if you want to start a small business, make sure you got your savings money stacked up. Just in case you hit a rough spot in that business, you know what I'm saying? That's what I did. I worked a nine to five, and then I built my I built my other business up to so so when I quit that nine to five, I had saving money. You feel me? So just in case I went through rough patch in that business, I had something to lay back on until my business got back up. That's just, that's just a general lesson in life. Always have a backup plan for what you want to do. I just felt like there's a lot of things that you know when you don't sign a prenup, uh, it's just good. It gets dicey, you know, and I think that uh, it's not just to protect, you know, your interest and stuff like that or your assets, but but it's also in order to protect, you know, your significant your significant other from any type of debts or student loans. So I think that you know it is salient to think about, you know, uh, with who you you know. You foreseen yourself with if we're in love i don't want to sp um, split my money with you because i work up for this money i'm leaving so then you love your money i exactly. love the person Boy, for the them money. i love the person for them i don't love them for their money so if, so if i break up with them what if I all right see now i get it this is the problem now it's making sense this is the problem the girl in the blue can't seem the woman in the blue my bad no disrespect the woman in the blue can't seem to separate love and emotion with income. You feel me? Like, these are two different things. They're not combined with things. She's combining them to one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, her, I, I'm i I'm pretty sure her idea of love is demand provides everything and I stay at home. Like, that's the life she wants to live, which is fair to her, whatever. That's what she want to do. But she's having a hard time separating the two you know what i'm saying like pleasure and business are two different things that's what she not is understanding which is why she's having a problem in this debate I, break up with them. I, I wouldn't want half of their money because i wasn't for them for their money but can the I, point is why thing. does it matter I, it does matter because marriage is a business even when we send it that doesn't stop me from getting you gifts i can get you a car right. in your name yeah, i can buy you a house in your name that's that's yours anything i buy for you that's in your name that's yours um that being said, even if we divorce, that's yours. But you don't come and dig in my company's money again. I, I gave you what you needed. But Fine. I don't even know the person is going to do any of that. You don't but know. You know I bought you, uh, you a lawyer will spouse. go after whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the spouse. The lawyer will just do it themselves. That's what I'm saying. The it becomes a like, business. I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you wouldn't even allow me. Let's say I, I fly some girl to Dubai and you find out and you now. You, listen. Because the lawyer want to get their cut, too. The lawyer want to get their cut, too. So, of course, you're going to try to get the marriage. marriage. Thinking you're going to do things. Like, why? Well, my thing is, why if I'm making... if I Because, you know, we're all in New York trying to grind and trying to do our own thing. Mm -hmm. If I meet a guy that's not doing... 
as much as I'm doing and I've been making more money before being with him and being in love with him I am going to try and protect myself exactly. because I don't think that he is coming so, I mean, so what is your stance? You already the table. My stance are in both ways. My stance are both. My thing is, you should get a prenup if you guys are, if if you had your money successfully prior from from the union. But if you guys came together, getting the union, you should not get a prenup because Which there was money collected together while being married. But what so if you, should you not what if you get married to someone and after the marriage? They decide not to do anything. And you're the one that's Taking going out there, grinding, provider. working, getting all this money. And then at the, end of the, at the end of the day, you have to split that? Right. You know, I don't want to split that. It's, it's easy always, for somebody to get comfortable. There's right. always yeah. yeah. could have, should have, would have. Even if you get the printout, there's always a should have, could have, would have. Like, it, you, you can never really protect yourself. Yes, so if you you're, can. That's you what can. a prenup is Because, so, okay, let's say, let's say now you have kids, right? And there's kids it's involved. Different. No, it's, it's, it's not really different. If kids involved, and then you're a millionaire, and you're trying to have your kids, uh, um, here we have the, the, the money that you, um, that you made your whole life. The kids to have a, a mother, With you know? And let's if, if, if the kid is less than 18, that, that money we really go to the mom because she's the one taking care of the kid. So there's always ways right, to so always, saying, you know. Child support definitely will definitely be in place. But, but what I'm saying is if you're, no, I'm saying you'll, she will support. still get the money from she him She'll still get the money. So if, if your intention is for her to, to be to cut financially, she, if she want to get the money, she'll you still get the money. You can the prenup for both yeah. of you to yeah. agree yeah. with certain yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, it had to be something that we both that, agree on. That's the great that's thing about yeah. prenups is that you can customize it. You can customize it to the point where... Facts. This, like I said, yeah, I said earlier, this is a problem. The, 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 the woman in the red and the woman in the blue are having problems realizing that your prenup can be customized to whatever fits your relationship. It's not one cookie-cutter prenup. That's the problem that's going on with this debate, and that's where they send a loss in it. You can say, if you cheat on me, I want one million, These two million, or whatever. Right. So why not sign it? Why not sign it? At the end of the day, my thing is like, if I know, first of all, mentally, if I know that my man got a prenup and he's trying to like uh, tell me, okay, if something happens with the marriage, if I cheat, this is that or whatever, I would, like one. My whole life, I would think about this prenup that he made. You don't sign it. 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 You don't you wouldn't care about the prenup for the money. Absolutely. You wouldn't really care. You don't he should not care. Why are you true. making it seem like? Why are you making it seem like she can't have? A, what if she's the person who has the money? That's and she's saying, saying person. no. But yeah. I'm saying, what if she's the person who has the money? And this person is they they, they you know they don't, they're not as financially um, stable as or stable as she is. But she still says, I don't want a prenup. Then what? What's who's, your point then? Right. But that's her decision, no, though. But that's her decision. Because you keep saying that. Oh. It's, it's about the money. It's about the money. So I what if she's it's about the money? I said if you're going to man off of love, why do you care about the prenup in the first place? And that's care. what I'm saying. You're the one you who cares because you're the one who, who, who you offered the prenup. You literally just I said, "Oh yeah, okay, work just think about the prenup." Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I love because it. you know why? You I know why? I think about the prenup. But I don't care about no, it. No, but it's just like that. If I marry somebody that's not on the same level as me, I feel like I have to protect whatever I worked hard for. Why should I have to, if I have $10 in my bank account before I married you, and for some reason, 30 years later, 10 years later, things don't work out, and I ended up having like $500, I'm not giving you 250 out of that $500. You're, you're saying that, okay. She, it's, 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 if it's about love, why should it, why should the prenup matter? Let's say she's the person who has the money and she doesn't want a prenup, then what? I mean, but then the other person is saying, oh, I want a prenup, then what? And that's a decision they have to make because mm -hmm. if you're going in for love, literally the money should not matter. Mm -hmm. yeah. She literally just said, I don't care about the money, but I'm going to be at work thinking about the but prenup. That's not what no, I'll be at home thinking about, about the prenup. Saying. What's this guy going to do with the that's prenup? That's not what you said. That was prior to what she said. She just said that.
I was trying to make my point, but y'all was trying to, you know. That's not what I said. My thing is, if you are getting married and then you ask me for a prenup, the reason why I would think about it is because my thing is my man feels like something will happen within a marriage. Yeah. For him to, because my first thing is when I get married, I don't think about the if you cheat, if you, you step, on, uh, step on me or stuff, stuff like this. Is my thing is not to think about that. Fluid. So the fact that, no, it's not fluid. fluid. It's not fluid because it's when fluid you get married, it's not fluid. So this is normal. 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 It's not like it's because the society normalizes it. It's like you always got to prepare for the worst. It's not just about cheating. The spark could fade away. You could not just love each other. You got to protect yourself at the end of the day. People cheat. Why think like that when you go into a marriage? You have to protect yourself at the end of the day. Prepare for the worst. People been cheating. So don't get married. People waste my time. Why not? Why not get married? Why not get the benefit? People been cheating since day one. It's not just today's society. It's not just cheating. It's not just cheating. You could grow to not love somebody. Okay. Like, it could fade you're away. Saying basically, that okay, I'm gonna get married, but because life happens and I might slip up because it's life. It's, it's not normal. normal. I want to. I want to prenup. That's what you're saying, no, basically, because it's life, so it's supposed to it's happen. It's normal. insurance. It's security. It's security. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word. I feel like love and prenup cannot go together. It's either love or prenup, and if it's gonna be prenup, do not get married because you're married to waste somebody's time. I could be doing a lot of things with my time. I don't have to be married to you. Like I could. Go get some real money and be with a real man that's gonna love me without a prenup. For you to say it's security, like you know, some of my castmates that say it's insurance, as if you are talking about you know Geico. Like I don't understand that. It's not an insurance. If you're gonna love somebody, you're gonna have to be in there for real. You cannot just say, but if I slip up. I could always back up. Don't get married then. Stay home and close, you know, your door and watch TV. Yeah, so but again, it's, just easy. Like, it's just like a preparation for the rest because you don't want to go through the lot of Except for the worst. You know what? When you say, when you say words, that's what she gets to. She gets mad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, so like, like, just let her know. Uh, let me stop, let me stop using that word then. Yes. Let, let me stop using that word. Just use security and insurance. Security and insurance. Security and insurance. It's a mutual agreement because I'm not just going to draw it up and like, here, sign it. No, I'm going to talk to my, I'm going to talk to her first. See how she feels about it, and we have to come up to, come up with an agreement, so we could both, at the end of the day, protect each other. Because you know, life life stuff happens in life. You we could love each other um, today, but not necessarily. I'm gonna screw up and cheat, or she cheats. We could just grow up, you know, to hate each other. We could just argue every day, disagree. Now you want to be in the same room, and then, you know, we we want out in this relationship. No no prenup. Then this one's gonna want more. Then it's gonna be chaos, and you just want structure. At the end of the day, you just want to just walk out with what you came in with and you just leave with it. The thing is, if you get into a car accident, you don't get killed, you don't die. Mm -hmm. Somebody might hit you, but at least you know you have the insurance sure. to fix it. Perfect. That's just what that is. I'm not comparing it. I'm giving you an example That's because it's, not not comparison. it's just an it's example of why we need insurance in this lifetime. You need insurance on your car, your house, and everything. So just like your marriage. Insurance on love. Yeah. Yes. Prenup. Marriage because marriage people, is a Listen, guy. people get comfortable. If you could go grow to get comfortable. If you make it all the money, I don't have to really do anything. It's just so yeah. sad I can get to see you all say this. And you're going like, to no. want out. It's 2018. And he's getting married. Let's get back to our friend that's getting married, right? So he's going to watch this, and then he's going to be like, okay, now I'm going to think that I need a prenup because it's life and things happen. Exactly. It's not worth it. Wow. That's, 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 but that's exactly. something you should speak to, uh, to your... Well, if that's, his, if that's the love of his life, Mm -hmm. And she really exactly. loves him. She, 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 they she have to like, First of all, they have to talk about it and they have to go come to an agreement. Customize it. But, we if, have she, if, truly, but if he truly wants like a prenup for like insurance, I'm not gonna use that word. Then she has to respect. She has to respect. Use the word. She has to respect it. If I, but if I truly love her, then I'll just have to like. I really would take that chance. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna marry her because I do love her. At the end of the day, I do love her. I care for her. So I'll take the chance. Maybe in sometime in the future. She was like, okay, let's go back to that prenup idea you came, that you brought up earlier before. So maybe in the time in the future, so I'm gonna take the chance and you know see what happens because I'm not gonna just end a good relationship just because you know she just says no to a prenup. So if if, so if you love each other, what's yours I love and what's mine you love too. Why yeah. do we have to separate it while we're married? We yeah. are we are one, but yet again our things are because, apart. Because so we're not truly it's, one. It's 2018, girl. That's what I'm saying. 2018 is a new happen. normal. But it's not completely it's, se normal, it's not it completely like separating that. everything. You two could come up with a number to pro you know provide right. for everything, but everything else you can just keep for yourself. But the, either, no, either way. the number one problem in marriage is finance. Yes. 
it that's is. why a lot of that's mm -hmm. why there's a lot of fights because if he doesn't have a job or she, she's not working there's always some issue because both of them can't provide for the family that's why I say they gotta come together I so, just, they, I just so when they so when the they label. sign up when they're making this prenup they both have to agree with it or so my, they have to revise it together, and both both of them agree with it, and then they sign it. It's not like he's gonna say, "Well, I have more money, yeah. I keep right. everything, and you end up with nothing." If they have kids, they have to keep that in consideration. And I feel like she she I would agree to have some sort of cut because mm -hmm. if I spend thirty years <laughs> with you, that's I don't want to walk away that's with like nothing. Yeah. It's why because I spent thirty years with you. Okay, being, being a husband, right? whatever. Yes. Dealing with your problems, your emotional problems. <laughs> exactly. Just that being you're support. Not the, you're not just going to walk away with nothing. You're going gonna to want something. Right. It's and you like, can put that in you're the prenup. Yeah. But I thought you said it's, it's, it, it should be about she just literally said, said, about 30 years you're walking away, you're not literally going to walk away with it. If you, if you came with nothing, right? That's what the second thing you got to say. Yeah, you're not. Especially if he or she put you through hell, you're not walking away with nothing. If the person is smart, if this woman is smart, she can start her own business, have her own thing. Wait, wait, wait. Building a relationship with your, whoever you've been in love with, because if like there's a structure or there's a prenup, there's no beef, there's no anger. Yeah, you guys can no, still be beef. friends. Yeah, it's cool, but no. not to, to the point where, <laughs> to the where you guys you're gonna, gonna, gonna hate each other. And then it could be because it let's could. say we get married and I'm done. We're done with we're done with your honeymoon, and then you be like, oh babe, by the way, we forgot before to sign this. Before you get to that, you and should no, sign you it. Before. Before. Yeah, you mentioned that before, like before. the marriage. Like you mentioned it before. If my woman is making more money, I wouldn't be comfortable signing. I'm sorry. But then if I'm making more money, then yeah, it's a must. You know what I think is shady when you don't sign the prenup bef um, before the marriage and then when you're in the marriage and you start making more money and you try to sign, right. sign. that's mm, a different that situation. That's, you crazy. Crazy. Yeah. that's why it's very... That. The other, hmm? One of my friends, her husband came home. He's in the, the Navy, so he goes away for a couple months. He came back one month and was like, so um, how do you feel about signing a prenup? It's like, what? Yeah. We've been married all this time. You go away for a little while. Now you want to sign a prenup? He's doing something. He's doing something. That's why you should have the structure before the marriage. Exactly. Before. Yeah. So it's. Definitely before. Definitely before. Because the thing is, the lawyer. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's what they're going to do. Because they want to get their cut, too. Of course, they want to get you the best deal. Married for life. Exactly. I have some advice for Kofi. But you can. he can also wait and then see if um, she's making more money for it before you <laughs> Really? No, no, Kofi, just, no, 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 here's a real no. advice. Listen, if you, this is a real advice. whoever's <laughs> making no, the most money does <laughs> Say bless me, y'all. Comment bless you at the, in the bottom. It's really not, but you have to come to like an agreement. If you really, if you want a prenup, you have to talk to her. You have to talk to her, you have to like get what she, you have to see her insight, see her input, and then come to an agreement and see what's gonna go on from there because you guys really love each other. What's I wish you the best? But if you mm. want a prenup, you have to talk to you. You have to talk to her because it's a mutual agreement. It's not just, it's not a one side my sign this prenup. There we go. You have to talk to each other. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. I would fully support uh, my wife financially for making um, the most money. Um, like getting a car in her name, that's fine. Um, even if I want to buy a house in her name, that's fine. Um, but then, if there's if, when there's a separation, I don't, I wouldn't expect her to um, want me to like give her like like a thirty percent cut. What will you design? All right, y'all boys, that's the end of the vid. You feel me? I gave I let them talk and I gave a little talk points while while the vid was on. But I'm a I'm gonna give my uh, my um. Damn, what the hell? My opinion on on prenups, my total, you feel me? Like I said, this these episodes are not gonna be cut. This is gonna be straight raw from the heart. So my opinion on the prenups is you should have a prenup. A prenup is going to be helpful. So if anything goes wrong, you know what to do. It's not just for uh, you think your spouse is going to cheat or money wise, but it is that the other way it's helpful is that it saves you time if you ever see you guys if you ever see marriages that end in a prenup they go to court it takes a long ass time you know how the court system is for those who live in the united states it takes forever you feel me they call it shit red tape it takes forever they take forever to get some shit done so that prenup saves you on that it gives you a clear cut what's gonna happen if this marriage doesn't work and yeah i think I think everybody should have a prenup, you feel me? Protect what you own, my boy. No matter 
no matter if you got a little or a lot, protect what you own. Make sure you don't get finessed, you feel me? Because, I like it, like I say, if you get married, I'm going to say this. If you get married, you should get married to somebody that you trust, you feel me? But, you should not put 100% trust in anybody in this life. Take that a note. Listen to what I just said. You should not put 100% trust in anybody in, the, in this world. I don't care if that's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. Because, trust me, I done got stabbed in the back by family before. For sure. I had family do fucked up this shit to me before. You feel me? You don't trust nobody in this life but yourself. So, that's my advice on prenup, man. You should have one, bro. You should have one. It's going to make your relationship a lot easier. Make, if anything goes wrong, easier. And this is going to be there. This is be in place so you don't get fucked over. Especially y'all, especially the men in the comment. Men, men, listen, men. And men. And this especially applies to men that marry down. If you don't marry somebody that is that makes way less than you, you need that prenup. You need that prenup so you don't get fucked over. Don't ever marry with no prenup. Especially men. The court system fucks men over when it comes to divorces. And I... As far as women, I I don't have I can't give I can't give advice on what happens in the court, but I'm pretty sure they fuck over women. Yeah, and I no actually I take that back. And women as well, if you marry down to men, marry down to men in lower tax brackets, you need a prenup too, cause my friend's mom got fucked over the same way. So whatever, who whatever, if you marrying down, get your prenup. Even if, get a prenup regardless, like I said, but especially if you marrying down is very important. Don't go without it. So uh, I appreciate y'all boys for listening to me. Comment over their debate and get my advice on the question. Uh, if you have any any advice, any questions, and you want to share your opinion, comment it down below. And don't miss it, don't forget to say bless you for when I sneeze. <laughs> but you know, real shit. If you have your opinion, comment it down below. And also comment down below what you want me to talk about next. So I appreciate you boys for listening to me talk, listening to the podcast. Have a good night. Or a day, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm filming this at night, so that's just a heads up. Whenever I say day or night, it's when I film it. So I'm filming it at night. So I say have a good night. But overall, have a good the rest of your day. Peace out.